Yesterday I was here. One of my daughters came to show me her pregnancy test. She showed positive. Now, the, the most dangerous one I heard yesterday was a woman who last year did IVF. IVF failed. And he joined Baby Harvest. She gave birth to three plates. Three years of delay. Ended with three children. Two girls and a boy. I think she go born again. Maybe on Sunday, if I get that picture, I will just show you. You know her. It's a popular face here. But in one is a plate. Three plates. House on food. Two boys and a girl. Are you hear what I'm saying? That's the kind of testimony I wish you. And if you can say amen, God will give you. Now, result that break record. Testimony that people don't get for your family. Did I hear your amen? If there is any of your testimony hanging, let your amen drop it down. Now, something happened yesterday. I was in casting session. One of my sons here in this house came to give me a seed. He said he was led to raise an altar. So I took him on. To talk to me because he called me and said he wanted to see me as urgent. I thought so. When he got there, I said he came to give me see this an urgent. He wants to raise altar. I said, Let's go back to the altar. Right here. I prayed, I anointed, I prayed for him, I prayed for the children. I command doors to open, I command foundation to be silent. The man left, not up to 30 minutes. I saw him run, run back to me. By pastors who are even coming for counseling. I don't know, maybe they not have to stop for me to see him. He said the contract he quoted many months ago. They didn't call. As the prayer was, I was praying for him, the phone was ringing. He never knew that it was those company calling him to mobilize him to go back to start the construction. The contract was approved. We said, when he now picked it, they called him and said, he should come. So they can mobilize him to go to site. Every of your own blessing, may your own be released. I don't like your amen. I don't like that amen. Shout it, Father. Every of my handy blessing, let it be released. Let it be released. Can I hear him and treat her? Sit down. So, me, I don't care to know what is your own. Whether it's in the area of money, in the area of marriage, in the area of good health, the Lord will turn it around. I don't like your amen. If it's a spirit of death following you, I rebuke the spirit of death. Look at this scripture. Exodus chapter 3, verse 21. He said, Lord, I confess my love for you. You are all that I am. Exodus chapter 3, verse 21. Exodus 3. And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. You know, who are the people, Israelites? Who are the Egyptians, the wicked ones? Who held them captive? God said, in the sight of your enemy, you will find favor. A man who don't love me, how can he favor me? Listen, the heart of a king is in the hand of God. Even the heart of your enemy is in the hand of God. God can turn it. That even when they want to do you evil, they know will find peace. When they plan wait for you and your children, they know will find peace. If they hit ground for you, the ground begin to pursue them. I love that song. May I not be shot to her. He goes over the Mama somebody watching me there. Those who put hands to frustrate you, to kill you, may they are able to pursue them. They are able to pursue them. They are able to pursue them. I pray for you. Whoever you are giving money that have ate your money, you did good that have turned it against you. No police, no court, but they will not find peace. They will only find peace when they give you back what is yours. If I hear your amen, it will happen. 
my son, one of my sons in the door, a distant member, attended the program here. I saw a document. I said, which document is this? He said, one to two, a man who refused to do what they said in agreement. The man said, no one pay. I said, let's pray. After prayer, I said, can I advise you? I said, see me after service. So after service, I said, can I advise you? He said, I said, don't go to God. He said, what do I do? If I don't go to God, how do I prove myself? How do I get what is mine? Sit down, pastors. I said, don't go to God. Let's take him to court of heaven. He sounds foolish. He's a professional lawyer. He has a chamber in Abuja. Well-known lawyer. Because he fought for the man case in Federal and won. And the man, when he won, the man refused to pay his wages as they agreed. I said, no, don't. Let's put his hand. Let's arrest him with God. And I gave him two weeks' prayer. I said, when you finish, let's pray. Don't go to court. I said, the man you want to go to court, he gave money pass you. He said, yes. You know people pass you. He said, yes. In fact, there's nobody you want to reach in this nation and cannot reach. I said, I said, where you want to go? He said, no, be lying. I said, this one, where would they? It is a, that before, nine, a, judiciary is the hope of a common man. Now lie. <laughs> Justice day. Now by the mercy of God. You know the, the ones who are, don't see. If you get money, justice is in your hand. If you don't get money, it will turn against you. Not be how you talk to to reach. I told him, I said, now before, now the, now the, uh, they said judiciary is the hope of a common man. Now before. Not be this one when me they so. Now before they bomb me, no be now. So I we prayed. And he followed my instruction. After the prayer, two weeks, less than one minute, one month, the, the, the man called him. He said, where are you? He said, I'm around. He said, come over to my office, let's talk. When he got there, the man said, what I agreed to pay you during the course of that case to fight for it, because the further we are owing the man, he said, it was too much, I can't pay. He said, no, he said, what I agreed before you start the case, I had to agree because I was desperate to get my money. He said, what? He said, it was after the case when the federal paid. Now, notice the money he promised in the year language. He promised to pay the lawyer because they charged him by percentage. He said, no, go fee pay again. He said, but the man should become. Let, the, let them renegotiate what he's supposed to pay. If you agree, let him pay him. No need of court. And every amount of money. What I say, now later I agree for 300 or whatever. Million and paid, and he finally paid them. Matter ended. The man called me and said, God deal for this big man to agree. That's what I told him. I said, He know they sleep, but surprise, they they dream, they see where he deposition for dream. One of my friends told me that somebody came to draw money in their house, not him, or somebody close to him because he's a popular man. And the lady came and said, hey, I know your brother. He's a popular man. And a popular man, a child of God, a man of God. He said, if you don't pay that money, say you want to go juju for them. Say you go juju. So when he saw the man, the man, he said, he said was coming in. And he saw the lady. The lady said, no be you. No, not pay me my money. He was insulting the man. He said, you and your, uh, your sister collect, collect my money. The man said, was I there? He told the man, said, I go summon all of you for shrine. The man say, even me, where they see self, I'd be like Shiran. This where you come, so nice, Shiran, you come. The way dangerous pass evil waters. He said, he called the girl, said, I heard what he said. I got your message. But he said, I give you two options. I would have loved to pay that money for peace to reign. But hence, you say this way, I will pay you when I wish to pay you. That's one condition. Condition number two. But if you make up your mind to go to any Shiran, Share your property if you have anyone for your family because if you go, you're not going to come back. So that's my advice for you. Say the lady, say nothing will happen. I don't talk, I don't talk. They shut down. After one week, he said the same number because he now installed the number. Began to ring, 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 ring. Over 10 missed calls. He said one man, he said, pick the call. Now he picked the call. The lady called the call and we talked with lower two. He said, sorry, sir. He said, sorry for what? Have I paid you? Have my sister paid he said, sorry, sir. I am not talking in a hard tone again. He said, even if not the half of the money pay me, I'm okay with it. <laughs> Anytime you get half, I don't want full payment. He said, as I say, you must tell me why you changed your mind. You suddenly changed your mind. Because I know you were threatened before. 
You don't go come. He said, no, be that one again. You know what happened? He said, when he told the girl, he said, if you have, if you have anything, he said, I like your trouble. That trouble, where they give me, so I like it. But if you are going for the juju, if you have anything, if you get, if you don't get anything, before you go, share it for your sibling, because you go, he will not come back. The lady said, after that night, he began to dream. See where that man of God, the conductor, have funeral service. He said, even like who died, but he didn't see him. And he see where they cover grave. The man, they ordered them to cover a grave. <laughs> he tell the mama, he said, she told her own mother, her mother said, call her mother, that man will kill you. Call, but that man, wait till he tell you already, tell him, he said, you go die, you don't come back. He said, he got, the mother was insisting to the girl, he said, please call, we don't want trouble, we don't want to lose you. This one, we don't dream for three, four times, where did they bury you? And I, they conduct your funeral service. <laughs> Somebody shall fire! And I stand on this altar. Anybody who will carry your name, go to any shira. Carry, go to any altar. Your husband, your children, you as a wife, may they pay with your hair. You will find favor before your enemy. You will find favor before your enemy. Now, do you know one of those favor? They will not be at peace to do you evil. You didn't hear what I said. They will never find peace to wicked you. If you say amen, it will be so. See that. Look at that. It's all 321. 321. In the sight of Jesha, and it shall come to pass that when you go, you shall not go empty. Do you know what God told them? He said, Your enemy will finance you. I love that one. Though. People who don't like you will give you wealth. Which you know in the natural life is not possible. But with God. Stretch your hand. If there is anything that belongs to you, number two, if there is anything your enemies are holding against you, that belongs to you, as you turn that M3, that may you collect it back. Number three, is that human being like you cannot stop you. That's the greatest part of the grace. We call it that human being like you, no go feel worker for you. You know, Psalm 115, verse 11. Psalm 115, verse 11. Look at what he said. Psalm 115, verse number 11. He said, Yeah. Sorry, 105, verse 11. Sorry. 105, sorry. Verse 11. Saying unto thee, Will I give the land of Canaan and the lot of your inheritance? Verse 12. When you were but a few men in number, yea, very, very few, and you are strangers. Now listen. When you are not much in number and you are stranger in the land, you are bound to be oppressed. Talk to me. If there is any form of wickedness they wish to do, they can successfully do that. That will say that we are few in number. And number two, in the land where they find themselves, which is talking about the Egyptian now. In the, that Egypt, they were very few. They were also strangers. And number three, the people that were in their land, they are known for wickedness. Now, did you understand it? People who are wicked. There are cities that are friendly. They love strangers. But this city, we are the found themselves. They hate them. Now, if you read your Bible, you discover that there are some nations that hate Israel. They didn't hate them because Israel, they were wicked. They hate them because God is always with them. Talk to me. And that's why Romans said, What then shall we say if the Lord be for us? Now look at that Psalm 105 again. That verse 12 again. Let's go. They were strangers in it. Verse 13. When they went from one nation to the other, from one kingdom to another, people, they were moving. There was nobody covering them, but heaven, the eyes of God was upon them. So that's the kind of prayer I'm praying for you that women be like you. Whether they like you, they don't like you. But their weapon cannot penetrate you. Yeah. Did you understand what I mean? When Adam said, if they love you, they won't do you evil. That's true. But in a situation, they don't love you. So whether they love you or not, they cannot dictate what happens. 
because the grace covering you is stronger than their wickedness. Verse 14. Have we read 13? Go ahead, verse 14. He suffered no man to do them wrong. Yes, he reproved. Now, can I have another translation, media? Give me that verse 14 in another translation. In another, any other translation. He allowed no one to oppress them. He rebuked the kings on their behalf. I love that. He, he allowed no man to oppress them. That's so if you by mistake try to oppress them, you will see the hand of God. And if I hear that, amen, the hand of God stretch. If there is anything oppression in your life, if you turn that, amen, that hand wither, that hand wither, that hand wither, that hand wither. Barandi Romumbae, Oparachi, Havani Le Hane Bumo, Kimbonu Le Kurumo. Barandi Romumbae, Oparachi Le Kibo, Havani Le Hane Bumo. You say you will carry my Lord. You say you will be my God. Oh Lord, I am in your presence to have my own portion. You say you will carry my Lord. You say you will be my God. Oh Lord, I am in your presence to have my own portion. Up on this city, get put on me, boy. Up on this city, get put on me, boy. My name, I'm a big regret. Come, get to me, me. You say you will carry my Lord. You say you will be my God. Oh Lord, I am in your presence. To have my own portion. So relax your mind. You know, Romans said, if the Lord be for us. And uh, the book of Proverbs said, if the man so pleases the Lord, he will make his enemy to be at peace with him. And he said, the wrath of the wicked will never rest upon the righteous. They were moving, God protect them. And that's the prayer I pray for you. Did you hear what I said? This year, you will find peace on every side. You will find peace in your marriage. You will find peace outside your marriage. You will find peace in your house. Switch your hand toward this order. Whatever you are waiting for that have delayed or delayed, I join faith with you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May that delay be over. That delay be over. Your season of delay expire. Shall the Father every season of delay dominating my life in the name of Jesus expire by fire? Open your mouth and pray. Season of delay dominating my life. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. 
sit down. Look at my conclusion. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 16. Jeremiah 3, 16. Otuwa, Otuwa, Jehovah, Kanga, Jilira, Kame. Otuwa, Otuwa, Jehovah, Kanga, Jilira, Kame. And it shall come to pass. If you put Amen, it will come to pass. When you, when you be multiplied and increased in the land, in those days, says the Lord, they shall say no more. They shall say no more. The act of the covenant of the Lord, neither shall it come to the mind, neither shall they remember it, neither shall they visit neither shall that be done anymore. Now, do you know what it means? You will recover. Somebody shout, I will recover all. They will no longer see what we, they will use as a parable. In Genesis chapter 15 verse 2, do you know what God said? Genesis chapter 15 verse 2. Genesis 15, verse 2. And Abraham said, Lord God, what will that give me? Seeing I go childless. And he asked the Lord, and the steward of my house is Eliezer of Damascus. Now, verse 3. Verse 3. Abraham said, Behold, to me thou hast given me no seed. Lo, one born in my house is my head. He was referring to Eliezer. Eli uh, Hey, uh, the, the young man from Damascus he said he has served me maybe God you are going to give me that one as a place because his major challenge at that time was issue of childbirth but God said no if you read and God said no even though you look as if time has passed but I'm still I know what I'm doing I know the right time to make it happen somebody just showed me a video about a woman who delivered twins the first child at the age of 56. At the age of 56. I think that should be not from Abba. At the age of 56, first child. A woman. Woman of 56, never old. The born twins. Yeah, the man don't old. The street turned to carnival. People, they were carrying the man, they walk up the street. Say you don't win. <laughs> the woman gave me two boys at the age of 56. I couldn't remember without, like, how many years they were counting, 30 something years of marriage. They bathed the man with powder. They carry him for up, carry him street to street. All the whole street carry out. You see crowd where the street. Because the, the mirror could shake down. The enemy wanted to blackmail them, but God turned it to advert. Imamaya, 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 Debube, Imamaya, Debube, no, Imamaya, Debube. Imamaya, Debube, Imamaya, 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 Debube. Hot as Siri, Masiji, over. Oto siri masi omega Imamaya 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 debube Imamaya debe no Imamaya Your patience will not be in vain Your waiting will not be in vain I say your waiting will not be in vain. You know, Hebrew chapter 10, verse 36. Let me read it, then I pray for you now. Hebrew 10, 36. Talk about your patience. For you have need of patience. That after you have done the will of God, you might do what? Receive the promise. So you will not wait in vain. 
After you have waited and waited, that which God promised you, a day shall come, you look at your hand. You will see it. Himamaya, 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 That woman who gave birth after 19 years, who we are talking the other day, he said, The husband to come out, they had a nap. He always wants to be around to look the twins. He always. <laughs> To go out and walk. Now the wife, the beggar, say, You go now, go to the market, come. We stay here. <laughs> we know they come out. <laughs> After 19 years, came out with twins. This is a couple that have lost hope completely. Like, you know, go happen again. But God showed up like this. Hama, mama, see, hama, see. Oto si rima si chilege, oto si rima si omega. Ima maya, 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 ima maya. I pray for you. If the person who what you are looking for, may their hand be tired, may their hands be weak. And above all, look at. I pray. Two prayer points. Number one. You will not cry again. If there have been anything that have caused you tears before in your life, in the name of Jesus, you know limitation. Say he say you make altar and affliction shall not rise up the second time. I join up with you whether you are watching the whatever that caused you tears, caused you pain. As you turn that M3 that we shut you against tears. Amen. 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 It will not happen in your life again. Number two, the same people who have narrated your matter, they will talk about your testimony. Now, wait, how do you feel when people are talking about what God don't have done for you? It's a good ad advertisement. This year is not permitted to finish until your testimony show up, until your testimony come out. I bless you. Everybody stand up. I bless you. I speak blessing. Come. How is your mom? You wanted to talk to me? Oh. Oh. Mothers in this house, I pray for you. I wanted to pray for her. He said, you want to talk to me after I go here with you. She want to talk because... I feel like praying for the mother. You know, these are one of the testimonies here. And some of you know her, she's in uh, Austria. You know, the woman that had us at, I mean, saw, dangerous saw at that time, the other side. For some time now, she's not in the country. You know, she traveled before, come back. She don't travel again. And only God knows whether she's still there here with us. <laughs> Mothers, I pray for you. May God suddenly turn your tears into laughter. Did you hear what I said? You will not suffer forever. You will not suffer forever. Let me hear that. Amen like thunder. That I don't know what she did say. We had the poison and she put the table outside. Some people want to, at times they believe say they want to remove you. But they don't know what God has for you. Straight your hand, shall the Father, that which you have for me, let it never delay again. Shout it in the name of Jesus. Anywhere they carry my name, go. Any evil move against my happiness, inspire. Clap your hands and pray. I'm a sinner, Give us a candy, 
Asema bugi Jehova Gina zaka gebe Amoye Jehova Gene meno wakola In Jesus name we pray Place your hand on your head Shout I will not see what to buy my head I will not lose anyone in my family This year 2024 Declare it I will not see what to buy my head and I will not lose anyone dear to me. I will not lose my children. I will not lose my wife. I will not lose anyone dear to me. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Now shall you finally, Father, anyone programmed for death around me? I stop that evil. I terminate it. Open your mouth. Anyone programmed for death? Anyone programmed for death? Anyone the enemy is after their life around me today? I stop spirit of death. I stop spirit of death. Anyone programmed for death? Anyone spirit of death is chasing. We are a spirit of death. Anyone on the death list of the enemy, we cancel it. Where is the Lord God of Emma? Where is the Lord God of Emma? Where is that God answer my father? No burial around me this year. No burial in the name of Jesus. No barrier. We shut down against spirit of death. We shut down against spirit of death. We shut down against barrier. We shut down. Pray that prayer. No one in my house. The blood of Jesus. The blood. I lifted us. I take it as a token in the spirit way against spirit of death through accident, through arrow, through sickness. Any form it has been programmed, it shall not stand. Neither will it come to pass. Anyone program for that? Every signal of death. Pray that way now. Signal of death within my family. Signal of death within my family. Signal of death. Whether through dream, whether through feeling, in any form, I lift up a token. The spirit, the water, the blood. Bear a witness. I live my love, Adama. I lift up in the spirit way of this altar. We stop that death. We stop that death. We rebuke spirit of death. Any height have been programmed. Death. In the name of Jesus, you have been conquered. You have no place around us, in our family, in this house, in Remai. I lift up the spirit, the water, and the blood. The spirit, the water, and the blood. And this three, bear a witness in there. Let it be a witness against this wickedness, against this oppression, against whatever signal of death, destruction, sorrow, fear, against man, against woman, against children. Not even baby in the womb. Signal of death. Signal of death. Cancel. I lift up that token in the spirit way. Let it be a witness against every signal of death. Every signal of death. Whether through dream, whether through feeling, whether through any means, we stop it right now. It shall not stand. Neither will it come to pass. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We declare and declare. No death. No bad news. No tears. No death. No bad news. No tears. In the name of God the Father. Son of the Holy Ghost. Let's say that amen seven times in agreement.
that remembered me? One of the women I saw during this program, one of our distant members who came. Some of you were in the service. When I got that day, that was pregnant. Imagine first child, 14 years before the second one, they come. I think we have seen something like that in this house, 18 years of the first child, the second baby, twins. Hallelujah. But there's one testimony I heard, get as it be. He born the first one, triplet. Come born second one, triplet. Fear no go grieve the husband. Two conception, six children. The man started looking for help. He did prayer. He wanted the person who prayed the first prayer say, We don't need the prayer again. Two times belay. Six children, half full, half dozen. And like the men he passed for boys. That man fear no griever. Six. Two times conception. Six children. If they live and burn the fourth one, the third one, maybe not four. I think I heard one testimony. A woman born the first one, triplet. If they find beginning, find the second one, four. Come be seven. When they call the husband and say, Your wife, don't burn. But when they see the scan, the scan was showing two, was showing, say, maybe not three. But when he come born, not four. They call the man. And they say, hey, Thank God, thank God. But they thank God, no strong. <laughs> First one and the first one to the second one, no reach two years old, a yand three plates, a yand consignor four. So, how they want to do this thing? We are in one call helpers. How many helpers in one call for house? And then they told the man, say, now nah, four. Eh, say, thank God, thank God. <laughs> That's to say, I said, no, I've not cried for children before. Because when he conceived the second one, the woman, no quick no, said she was pregnant. Because he just burned the first one after much delay. And when she gave the letter, like, she no quick no. And the they, children, they were still small. So from when she delivered this one, and when she, a year and of those children just completed one year. A year and two months. Now she delivered. For the man, they look the ones where they house where they cry. Come look for we come and join the queue. So he was like, Then they tell I say, He said, Thank God, thank God, thank God. He did do thank God, but you they think I'm thank God. They ask and say, Which one they do? He said, Thank God, thank God. <laughs> And also the man go beg the doctor and say, what will I do for this woman not to conceive again? Hallelujah. God is a miracle worker. May that same God step into your matter. Take your seat. Move forward. You know, we are running with our time today. I declare this seed, the voice of grace. Move forward. Money will not run for you. You know, this Sunday I continue my assignment. Anointing your head, anointing your hand. Your head is that... From now to December, you are seen sixth month, you will see December. Yeah. Number two, these hands will not beg, no matter the economy. You'll be excelling. Last Sunday, I finished service. I paid a visit to one family here. They were happy. Me, I was also happy because I have to go there. They build a house on a speed lane. Imagine a house where the labor nation when spent is 15,000 a bag. That December, January, that was Sunday, he decided to break the old house where they are living to turn it to upstairs. So I was shocked on Sunday. They say the house is set. I said, man, go see with my eye. When I got there, no be house, now home. No be house, now home. You know, 100% both the outside, 100% completed. I say this can only be God. In the midst of this hardship, people are asking for food. And you run this project on a stretch. 
in less than six months, completed it, painted. Let's say the wall said no dry, the painter. Everywhere, 100%, nothing remained. Both the compound, they did the concrete wall, painted, polished. Kai. I enter, I say, this is good. The same grace. You didn't say amen. amen. The same grace rest on you. Amen. I know it has been happening, but I decided that they make I go see this one because you know when you we pray here, you know, see the house. I have to go. So I pray. Money will not run for you. Amen. Money will not be scarce in your hand. The economy will not frustrate you. Grace will mean grace. Favor will mean favor. Use your two hands, touch the other. Why are some